Oh well, oh well, oh well. People, this is why we love the Premier League. This is why the Premier League is the best league in the world without any shadow of the doubt. Man, we had some very, very interesting games. And thank you everybody that was there during the watch along on Soka IQ. You see the logo here. This is a, a new channel, a small channel that we do all our live streams over there. We are there every single day for hours. The link is always provided for everybody to call for free. So, if you want to help your brother, please click that like button, comment down below, and also you can become a member of the channel by buying your brother a coffee, 99 cent a month. All the links are going to be in the description down below. Oh, well, oh, well. Today, Sunday, I don't know when you're going to watch this video, but this is the games on Sunday. And uh, I'm going to give you my review for all the games on Sunday while waiting for other games that are going to happen next week. So, in general, you can tell here uh, on your screen, Bournemouth 4, Leeds United 1, Fulham 1, Manchester City 2, Manchester United 1, Aston Villa 0, Newcastle United 3, Southampton 1, and the last one was between Liverpool 4, Tottenham Hotspur 3. We're going to get to some details, but wow, what, what, uh, what a game of football it was between Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur. All right, my people, let's go to some details here. All right, so as you can tell, the table is this way. Manchester City are back on top, but they still have one game in hand. So it's not in Arsenal's hand anymore. It's on Manchester City's hand. They have 76 points, Arsenal 75 uh, with more games, with one more game in uh, uh, one more game played more than City. Newcastle United are third with 65 point. Manchester United 63 point. Liverpool are actually fifth. They can push until the end, my friend. 56 point. And Tottenham Hotspurs are sixth, 54 point. Chelsea are 12. Yeah, the Almighty Blues are 12 with only 39 points. They can still get relegated here. Make no mistake. And bottom three or bottom four, we have Nottingham Forest, Leicester City, Everton, and Southampton. Okay, my people. So let's go to some details here very quickly. We're going to talk about uh, which game. Let's start by very quickly. This game was very, very uh important for manchester city to, to go top but they struggled they struggled to win this game erling Haaland scored a penalty and that is like his 34th goal in the premier league and all together this season this brother scored 50 goals all competitions this brother is a goal scoring machine I don't want to hear about anything. This brother need to be sent back to the moon because he's not a real human. Man of the match was him. And Julian Alvarez scored 36 minutes. And for Fulham, it was Carlos Vinicius in the 15th minute. But like I said, Manchester City kind of struggled a little bit today to score goals. And they can find another way of winning goals now. They're not all the time playing tiki-taka. Now Pep Guardiola understood that sometimes you have just to close the shop and get three points instead of taking a lot of risks. So I'm so impressed about the defensive work from Manchester City because we all know that they can score goals. That is not even a problem for them. But 
to keep a clean sheet or try to see the game out been their problems for years now and i think uh pep guardiola been very pr pragmatic and all he, he all he need is three point and move on and what that is exactly what they did today so congratulations to them all right people I don't want to really go to statistics because we know that City are going to dominate, you know. The ball position, 62%. Shot on target, 9. Shot all together, 12. So it doesn't mean anything at the end because you can have 10% position, but you score 2 goals and you win the game. So just to give you an idea about what happened today, but it doesn't really mean that much. Let's move on to another game that we're going to... Um, we're gonna analyze here uh bruno fernandez man of the match that was between manchester city and aston villa 1-0 also very very good game management from uh, eric ten hag today and just like I, I said about city sometimes you just need to get three points and move on and that is exactly what Manchester United did today and you can't really blame them because uh, Aston Villa been very very good this season until the last minute they were under threat for United of course and um, they managed to see the game out get three points and keep fighting for top four that's all you need to do 57% possession for Manchester United 42 for Aston Villa, shot, shot on target, 6 for United, 1 only for Villa, and all shot together, 14 for United, and 7 for Aston Villa. Okay, let's now move on very quickly before this video gets too long, and uh, yeah, this one we're not gonna touch that much because uh, it's it's explained itself. Newcastle United three, Southampton the bottom of uh, of the table one, and I think this time Newcastle United have a big chance to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, yeah, congratulations to them because nobody really expected them to go that high and this fast. Everybody was thinking that the money is not going to, you know, buy you. But they, they bought players very intelligent buying, right? Okay. They didn't go and buy expensive players all over the world. And they, they just built from, from uh, the ground up. So, yeah. Congratulations to them. And let's finish by this game here between Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspurs. 4-3 at the end. Richarlison actually scored his first goal in the Premier League this season against Liverpool. And he used to play for Everton. So it was just his moment. He took the shirt off. He was celebrating. He thought, okay, I got a point for Tottenham Hotspurs. It's going to make headlines. Oh my goodness. He didn't know that Anfield and liverpool are not just gonna give up so easily and <laughs> what a crazy game what a crazy game the first half it was all liverpool three nil in the first half and i was like please stop it because it could be like six or seven or eight nil or something and you have to save some money for Tottenham players that will have to reimburse <laughs> the traveling fan. The way they did against the Newcastle United when they conceded six. So I was, I was afraid of them conceding a lot of goals. But the second half, Tottenham Hotspurs were so good. So I was thinking this is a game of two halves. Tottenham are going to get it even a point or win at some point they hit the post twice in the second half what a game of football look at the amount of goals seven goals thriller oh my goodness so for liverpool um curtin jones luis diaz mo salah and 90 minute plus four 
it was Diogo Jota to win it for them. And four, uh, Tottenham Hotspur's Hurricane, Son and Richarlison. Mo Salah, man of the match today, arguably, yeah, the best on the pitch. And uh, I like the spirit from both teams, though, you know. Tottenham Hotspur's almost a comeback. What a comeback that was going to be. From 3-0 to 3-3, they showed some character. But football is not uh, fair, you know. Sometimes you lose games that you don't deserve to lose. And today, I think Tottenham Hotspur's deserved to get something out of that game. And they, they are going back to London with nothing, zero. After putting su such a performance, it's really a shame. But like I said, there is no fairness in football and you're going to have to learn from this. So Tottenham Hotspur's dropped, oh my goodness, dropped more points today. I don't know what position they're going to they're gonna finish on the table. Let's wait and see what's going to happen for the remaining of the games.